There's a really great piece by Paul Krugman in the New York Times boiling down uh, sort of one of the scariest elements of the Donald Trump candidacy. And it's not about any specific policy, but it's the idea that Donald Trump seems to increasingly think that he really could be the president, that he's really competent enough to actually do the job. We've spoken about the reality. It's no surprise that low information voters, people who claim to want to buck the establishment and some others have been sort of bamboozled into supporting Donald Trump for different reasons, right? Different people for different reasons. We see that all the time. We see voters, especially Republicans, vote for truly incompetent candidates all the time. We see them vote for candidates who actually would push policies that are against their own best interests. That's not the rare or unusual thing. But Paul Krugman points out that the real danger is that Donald Trump might actually think he would make a good president. And that's a really scary thing. There are elements of Mitt Romney's candidacy in all this. Let's sort of break it down. First, Paul Krugman wrote in his New York Times article, granted, most voters probably don't know anything about Trump's policy pronouncements, in part thanks to substance free news coverage. But if voters don't know anything about Mr. Trump's policies, why their favorable impression of his economic management skills? The answer, I suspect, is that voters see Mr. Trump as a hugely successful businessman and believe that that business success translates into economic expertise. They are, however, probably wrong about the first and definitely wrong about the second. Even genuinely brilliant bril business people are often clueless about economic policy. So there's two sides to this. First of all, there's this general idea that good business people make good presidents. We went through this with Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney ran on that idea. There is no evidence to back that up. And I asked this of, of so many Republican strategists four years ago. What evidence can you point to that good business people or even business people make good presidents? And there is none. That's that's number one. Uh, now, I'm the first person to tell you we need politicians from more diverse backgrounds, science, education, et cetera. Why do we have predominantly just lawyers at the at the, the highest levels of government? I agree that we should get away from that. But we have no examples to look at that suggest that good or even mediocre business people make good presidents. That's number one. But there's a second layer here, which is that although the economy historically does better under Democratic presidents, that's not my opinion. Run the numbers yourselves, either looking at unemployment or the stock market, however you want to reasonably measure it. Look at it yourself. Polls show that Republicans are more trusted on the economy. Now, as far as Donald Trump is concerned, Paul Krugman reminds us it's not even clear how great a business person Trump is. This is from Paul Krugman's article. Remember, too, that Mr. Trump is a clear case of someone born on third base who imagines that he hit a triple. He inherited a fortune and it's far from clear that he has expanded that fortune any more than he would have if he had simply parked the money in an index fund. We discussed that, Lewis, which is if tr Trump had just parked his, in his, his inheritance and collected what the stock market would have would have uh, provided since that time, he'd have more or less the same amount of money, depending on how much money you believe he has, which we don't really know. So here's what we have. It is multi layered. Let's put the list up, Lewis, for people in terms of Trump being a danger to the US. Number one is this idea that Republicans are better for the economy. That's demonstrably false. Just it, it's false. We've looked at it a number of times. Then we have the idea that good business people make good presidents. Maybe it can be true, but we have no evidence to support that idea. And then we have the narrative around Trump, which is that Donald Trump is a good businessman. That's demonstrably false in that he's done nothing with his inheritance that he couldn't have done simply by hanging around, drinking whatever it is he likes to drink and letting the money accrue in index funds. So it isn't clear if Donald Trump thought he could be president at the beginning of this horrible experiment. But at this point, he must believe Lewis, at least to some extent, that he could probably do this job. And that's the real danger and, and nightmare here. Without a doubt, I'm quite certain Donald Trump thinks that he could do just about anything. He's yeah. very, very confident, a very confident guy. Um, and still, a president does have to hire a cabinet. You have to have your cabinet. You have your administration. Mm -hmm. You have your advisors. You mm -hmm. have all of that stuff. I'm glad you bring that up.
are they going to let Donald Trump just do whatever he wants? Well, Donald Trump's claim all along has been when I don't know, I'm going to hire the best people. The best people was going to be Donald Trump's saving grace from the fact that he doesn't know that much. Meanwhile, we saw him hire Ben Carson to help him find a vice president. That didn't last too long. And I'll remind you of one name, Healy Baumgartner. Look her up and see if there's any evidence that Trump is actually going to hire good people. So uh, I think that the the specifically on the economy, the idea that Trump is going to save the economy is ridiculous. Most of the things he says he would do can't be done or he was part of the problem in creating, including sending jobs which now no longer exist to Mexico and China. It is a horror show, ladies and gentlemen, and Paul Krugman doing a good job of pointing this out.